Ford versus Chevy. A really random, interesting, uh, very new to me game. Uh, new to a lot of people, actually, that I'll get into all the exciting stuff. Uh, first thing I'd like to point out is on the title screen here. You know, it's obviously supposed to be Ford versus Chevy. So what do they show off? A 2005 Ford GT versus a, I think it's a 69 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Even on the game box, it's a it's a GT versus a 06 Chevrolet Corvette, which makes a lot more sense. I'll be showing off everything in the uh, challenge mode, but the Westington Cup is like your story mode, and there is actually like a little story. It's these two uh, older gentlemen that are, you know, one's a hardcore Ford fan, one's a hardcore Chevy fan, and they always get together to watch the Westington Cup, which is this racing competition that takes place over different areas of the city, uh, different, you know, types of vehicles, and all this sort of stuff. So that's basically the gist of that. So I'll go ahead and get into the challenge mode. The challenges are set up into five different uh, rounds, if you will. So you got your modern muscles, your off-road, your classic muscle, your trucks, and your racing cars. Uh, I don't really know what the difference between the off-road and the trucks are because you pretty much could just, you know, pick from each one and put them in the other and it would totally make sense. But we're actually going to do the trucks category. Yeah, that's right. The wreck in this game is actually referred to as a truck, which is refreshing. <clears throat> I, I think so, at least. And then each round is set up the same way, the same type of challenges, but they're all a little different. These first two, the Counting Cows and the Haymaker, they are exclusive to the trucks category. So, you know, for instance, Counting Cows, you count cows. That's what you do. I mean, you're not going to do that in a racing car or a, a modern muscle or anything like that. And then the Haymaker is you run over hay bales. Again, you're not going to do that in like a you know, classic muscle or anything like that. So these two are very specific to this challenge, the trucks. But the thing is, you cannot choose what vehicle you use for these particular events, uh, the vehicles provided for you. And then the rest of them, like these ones are uh, lap races, the first to complete three laps wins. Uh, this one's a point to point, so you start on point A, the first one to get to point B wins. Uh, this is a drag race. I don't think it's a quarter mile. It's more like an eighth mile. It's super short. And it's also the best way to earn points, which is your money in this game, is to just redo drag races. Regardless if you win or not, you always end up with like at least 2,200 points per drag, and it's super quick. And then Suburban Run can either be like the lap races or the point to points, but there's no other uh, competitors. It's just you against a time. It's like a time trial, basically. So anyways, I'll get into the vehicles in the truck category. You got this, baby. 1970 El Camino SS454. Booyah. Uh, one thing you cannot do in <clears throat> the challenge mode, you can only do in Westington Cup, is you can't upgrade any of the vehicles, and you can't change the paint jobs either. You have to do that in the Westington mode. So for this one, I just chose to go with the purple with the white stripes go ahead and take that now and I did that for two reasons one is because I think it looks nice uh, go ahead and do this one see race two teammates and three rivals in a in a three circuit event or three lap circuit event the first is because I like the look of it I think it's a really nice looking uh, vehicle and the second is it's kind of my way of showing off a game that would be part of the rec series if I could actually show it off but I can't because uh, it the game was never released in North America. It's a game that's known by two titles. Okie doke, let's try this again. Apparently I can't, I just, I cannot do this race. Apparently I'm just incapable of doing it, but I will do it. I swear I will do it. This is not impossible. I've done this before multiple times, so. No, well, maybe I'll just... I'm going to try driving more carefully instead of like trying to get in the first place and all that. Anyways, what I was talking about is the reason why I really like this purple and uh, white stripe style El Camino. Uh, the first reason because I just think it looks really good. Purple's like a personal favorite color of mine. More so, I really like burgundy slash wine red. That kind of purple red mix, something in between there. Or like plum. Plum's a good color too. I really like that style of color. Uh, but this thing looks really good. But the reason I really like this you know, color of vehicle is because there is another game uh, that should be part of the Rex series, 
but unfortunately will not be because it's actually part of a game that was never released in North America. It's a game... Oh, damn trees! It's a game called Drag Stars, a.k.a. Burn Out, not Burn Out, but Burn Out Super Light 1500, and it was only released in the PAL region and Japan, so... But the uh, El Camino in that game looks like this. It's purple with the white stripes, so... So this video is kind of like incorporating two different games into into it. Ford vs. Chevy as well as um, Burnout. Not not Burnout, Burn Out. Super Life 1500, a.k.a. Drag Stars. Not Drag Stars, but Drag Stars. Now that I got that all out of the way, and hopefully I can still continue to... Uh, win. There we go. It's just kind of bumping. Just kind of bumping everybody. Everybody in the club getting bumped. You got boast a little bit. I guess I'll talk about a few things that I wish this game did have. Uh, first off, I wish it had incorporated Dodge in some way. Just because, you know, those are like the... To me, those are the three big American auto manufacturers. Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. It's, it just makes sense. Especially when you consider that Dodge has actually been around longer than Ford and Chevy. Dodge was uh, founded in 1900, Ford in 1901, and Chevy in 1911. So, and like for every vehicle, you know, all the Fords and all the Chevys are s symmetrical with one another. They could have done that with the Dodges as well. I feel like that was kind of a lost opportunity, but oh well. You know, they, they did with what they did, I guess. But second off, in terms of individual vehicles, I wish this game had. Uh, first off, a 1964 Impala. Uh, hello? <laughs> Did y'all just forget about that? Second off, I wish there was a 1996 Impala. I think that would have been a nice inclusion in the modern muscle class. And as well as, I wish there was like a Chevy Blazer and a Chevy Suburban which would have been a really good mix because in the Ford side, there's a Ford Expedition. So Expedition, Suburban, I feel like that would have been a good, you know, matchup. The there we go. Oh, uh, so drifty, so slidey, so drifty, so slidey. Oh, I got this. I got this in the bag. Bam. Whew, that was a close one. In terms of the Fords, I'm not sure what vehicles I would choose for the Ford side. Um, Bronco, a Ford Bronco would have been nice. Like, I don't know what year, 1980 maybe? There is a Bronco in this game, technically, but it's a uh, Ford Bronco concept from 2004, so it's not like a real Bronco. You know, I wanted a real Bronco. Oh, a real Bronco. But other than that, I think, uh, eh, yeah, I'll do Suburban Run. Other than that, I think the selection of vehicles in this game is random, <laughs> I'll say that, but it's it's also pretty decent. I think it's... You know, I, I can't complain. There's only 48 vehicles in this game. Why there's not 50, I don't know. But one aspect... Ooh, look at that, some good lighting. As, as I'm sure you noticed, uh, the when I was choosing my vehicle, it was super dark, and I just... I don't know why. I'm gonna try my darndest to do this without, you know, just colliding and everything, but... Like I said, the El Camino, super slidey. Super, the handling in this thing is very, uh wonky. Also, this game uh, doesn't... you have to drive with the... Uh, you have to steer with the left analog stick, which is something I'm not used to. I've always uh, done it with the directional pad, at least for PS2 and earlier games. So, this is the first game on the PS2 that's not a platformer, because platformers I always... oh, well... oh, come on. Already right, just screw it up. This is the first, like, racing game, vehicle driving game. Uh, you know, as, as strange as it sounds, I think I'll still be alright. The first uh, driving game on the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1 that I've actually driven with the uh, analog stick. But if I was playing something on the PS3, or the Xbox 360, obviously, then I would be perfectly fine using the uh, analog stick. So it's very, very uh, new concept to me, but I'm slowly getting used to it. Did I describe everything that I wanted to? I feel like I did, and I feel like this is recording properly. I've had to 
try and do this. Oh, that was a beautiful drift. Oh, that was beautiful. Am I all smashed up a bit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> the damage physics. There's damage physics in this game. That's something interesting. And it actually impacts how your vehicle drives, too. Uh, I can't show it off because it's, um, you know, just like arcade mode. But uh, in Westington Cup, you actually have an upgrade feature or a repair feature, so when your vehicle takes damage, you can repair the damage, and it actually does affect your your performance, your acceleration, your top speed, and your handling. So, it's not just like a, uh, a visual thing, you know. It actually does improve your performance uh, back to factory spec, which is really nice. There's not a lot of games that do that. Oh, that was a beautiful drift. Oh, and look at that. Even when I did that big, that big screw-up, I still won with, like, all them seconds to spare, so didn't even matter <laughs> but yeah there's an upgrade feature I thought it was just you know in case you didn't want your vehicle to look ugly but as it turns out no it actually has a function so yeah I'll go ahead and view the replay while I continue to talk a little bit but yeah it actually affects your performance which definitely was a ooh that's a nice shot that's pretty. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That's cute. But I suppose that's really everything that I can think of showing off in this game. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I guess I'll see you for the next part of Sykes Wreck. Because there's totally a ranchero in this game! Oh my god! Oh, I could I, I cannot express how elated I am of this fact. I left a puddle when I found out about this. This is just oh, so good. Because there's... Okay, look. <laughs> there's very little information on this game, okay? I didn't find out that this game existed until, like, a uh, month ago. And I found out through IGCD.net. And the thing is, on... IGCD, yeah, they show off all the different Chevrolets in this game, but they only show off, like, 10 of the Fords. So there's another, what's that, 14? 18? 28? 14? 24. Uh, 14. There's 24 Fords. So there's another 14 Fords that just weren't shown off. So I had no idea this was in here. I'm so happy that one of its uh, base colors is this, like, plum. Plum color. It's a really nice looking, and it's a 1970 uh, Ranchero, which is a nice choice considering it's a 1970 El Camino that's in this game. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's the one that I would have chosen. Obviously, I would have chosen like a 72 or even a 73, especially because 73, I believe, was the most popular year for Ranchero. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think I remember seeing that somewhere. But regardless, a 1970 Ranchero versus a 1970 El Camino, that's a pretty good mix. And there you go, another game. <clears throat> a, I didn't think this would ever happen, but it's a game that features an actual Ranchero. This is an actual Ford Ranchero. I thought it would just be Ford Racing 3. So, you know, color me impressed. And uh, second off, it's another game that features a Ford Ranchero and a Chevrolet El Camino. Uh, before this, I thought there was only two, one of which being Roadkill. So, needless to say, I am highly, highly uh, impressed with the fact that this game, the people that made this game, decided to do this. I'm, I just, I don't even know what to say. This was. Oh, such a good, such a good feeling, because I didn't know that a ranchero was in this game up until the little cutscene before, um, before, what am I trying to say? Before playing the, the truck series of the Westington Cup, which is the fourth, the fourth round out of five. And it wasn't until that little cutscene right beforehand that shows off, you know, little vehicles driving around being like, oh, get ready for this. And I saw this vehicle, this this vehicle, and I was like, huh, you know, that looks a lot like an El Camino, but it looks it looks just different enough, is it? Did they? No. 
they, they did it, did they? And they totally did. And then, like I said, when I found out about it, I, I squealed. Like, like I haven't squealed in such a long time. I'm so happy. Again, I try not to pick favorites when it comes to rec style vehicles, but just because there's there's already enough attention on El Caminos, it's nice to see whenever hey, hot air balloons. Look at that. Just like where I live. I mean, granted there's hot air balloons all over the country. It's not like it's exclusive to New Mexico, but I think New Mexico is known for its hot air balloons and its chili peppers. I uh, totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, because there's so many games that do, you know, feature ranch uh, El Caminos that the Ranchero just doesn't really get that much love, so it's always nice to see it. And also, there are... Uh, goo, 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 goo. There's only like eight games in the Rex series that will feature Rancheros, I think, as opposed to the other <laughs> 22, 23, something like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, windshield's all busty bears. It's a four branch trailer GT. I, I forgot to mention that. But yeah. So, anyways. This is great driving. Uh, storming his way to a Ford win. This is really interesting this particular race cuz it's a point to point, so point A to point B, but the thing is point B is point A, but you have to drive through like the entire game area. You have to drive through the city aspect all the way through all the different parts of the countryside, which is like, you know, a desert and uh, this like kind of mountainous area and like a forest and all this sort of you know junk just to get back into the city aspect so you're literally going through the entire game basically the game landscape there's only one like area that the the game takes place but it's a pretty big area you know it's got a, a handful of different aspects to it oh grinding grinding so good Sliding, sliding, sliding. Okay. Okay, doke. There we go. Pop a little, little bit of shortcut here. Not, not a lot. Just a little bit. I know I didn't talk about the, uh, the boost aspects, but every time you do a stunt per se, like you know, it's a two wheels and airtime and chokidori and all that sort of stuff, that gives you extra boost in your boost meter. Where at the bottom left, where it says supercharged, uh, that's your boost. If I so felt the need to use it, but I don't because I am so far ahead, and also the finish line is right here. Oh, but anyways, I suppose I'll show off the. Uh, what is it, the drag race? And then that'll be it for this video, but... Hey, there you go. Replay, no thank you. Do you want to play again? No, I don't. I suppose I'll take a little sipski. Ah, my bev. Why don't we go into the drag race? Very similar to like something like Need for Speed, where uh, the drag race is in that. Where this actually, you have to shift in order to uh, complete this race properly, so that's one thing that's interesting about drag races, I guess. Say it. Who am I up against? Ooh, an SSR. Be still my heart. Yeah, rev it up. You still revving? Drop it. And off I go. Oh, just miles, miles ahead. Instant, instant. Oh, get out of here, SSR. You ain't cool. You ain't no ranchero. Well, that was a massacre. I, I mean, that is a, a pretty appropriate way to finish this video off, so. Be replay? Sure, why not? I guess we'll watch this replay while I do my, my send-off. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for experiencing this with me, because... I'm so happy to be able to show this off, to show off a Ranchero and the El Camino. Let's not take anything away from it. But darn, is that not a beautiful color? Like a plum, plum purple. It's pretty sweet. And I will, I'll actually end it off this time. I will see you next time for the next episode of Sykes Wreck, which this time will actually be on a 7th gen console. Like I said, it would be last time.
again, it would have been, except that I discovered that this game existed, and, uh, you know, make a Rex series video on it, why don't we? But anyways, I will see you for the next episode.